Hmm, so almost everyone is here. But Constantine is missing. Anyway, our invaluable employees will introduce themselves to you. As we say, we will cross bridges as they appear. Forgive me, but I'm expected elsewhere. What a pleasant surprise this is, Vladimir. Tell me, what brings you here? Oh, hello there, ma'am. I'm very happy to see you. <clears throat> I came by to ensure that you'll be treated well. For a change, I must say, for this place is a mess. It's about time that somebody breathes life into this dull place. Breathe life? This is the best studio in Moscow. The best people in the country come here, and no one never complains. Nothing but praises. Yeah? Yes. Then explain to me why the lady isn't dressed yet. The lady is being dressed, but we're picking out underwear to make the groom happy. Uh, wait, you are the groom, am I right? Mm. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, we got sidetracked. Uh, get the clients out. We need an urgent meeting. So I need to see first what I'm being entrusted with. Mihailov sent me. For the jacket. Oh, the jacket. Tomorrow we have an urgent meeting, I'm sorry. Hold on, listen. Do you have any idea who is Mihailov? Hmm, man with no taste? <laughs> oh, stop it. I know what I'm doing. I actually met him through my uncle. So let me tell you right now that you are only wasting your time with him, so I need you to leave right now. Don't you understand me? I believe that this place needs to be a bridge between Moscow and the amazing world of fashion. It is imperative that it has the air of a luxurious French perfume. Well, our noses I said are perfume, actually... not shoe polish. Because all you're doing is serving old women and their daughters, not capable of even... Uh, you must know that I don't mean you, of course. Excuse me, could I have a second? I need to talk to you. All right. Please excuse us. My dear, the undergarment's great. It will be delivered to you later, so please don't worry about it. Thank God that is an option. Anything else you want? Vladimir. Forgive me, Vladimir. For what? I'm sorry for everything I said. Drop it. What did you even say? That it's okay to change your mind. I understand marriage is for life. And I don't want to lose you in my life. Can we please be friends? Yeah. That's great, thank you. Tatiana is really pretty. She is. But so are other girls. <laughs> I don't get it. What does she have that I don't? Lydia, what would be the point? This won't help us. You're right. We two just broke up. <laughs> yes. Wait, hold on. Are you serious? You aren't offended? No. Of course not. Why would I be? I understand you. <laughs> c'est la vie. Yeah, c'est la vie. <laughs> Drop by for tea sometime. Today or tomorrow, whenever you have time. Золотой осенней ниткой Я послал тебе открытку В ней два слова, не грусти Но ползла она улиткой И плыла по морю рыбкой Не спеша, не слишком прытка Я и сам уже в пути Здравствуй, счастье В белом платьице простом Здравствуй, счастье Я прошу лишь об одном Здравствуй, счастье Ты прости меня, прости Здравствуй, счастье Больше не грусти Delicate Matters Episode 5 Cognac? Do you want some? 
What is it? I only wanted to discuss that very important nephew with you. I stayed here for ten years, even though that woman offered me a place in the Ministry. Yes, I heard that about forty times. I hope you stay here even longer, and then after that much longer. Look at you. Do I give you my two weeks now or later? I don't want to be demoted. Miss Nina, are you crazy? He's not here to replace you in any way. This is just an internship of sorts. Are you even listening? He's an international relations student, but he'll work here? They say he will establish connections with our foreign counterparts. Oh. He likely mm -hmm. mixed us up with the model agency when he saw all our mannequins. It took me years. To transform these girls into masters, Constantin didn't even know what a needle was. Hanya to be polite, Katya to pronounce certain words correctly. All that to be insulted by your nephew. Listen, they requested very nicely, and that's why I couldn't refuse them. They promised you won't be here long. I'm begging you, please be patient. Play along. Hmm? I really need your help with this. Without you, he will ruin this place. Please, help me. All right, my colleagues. Are all of you ready to revolutionize the world of fashion? Listen, Vladimir. I mean, sir. You aren't exactly Trotsky, if I'm being honest. All of us here know exactly why you asked to be transferred here. We'll protect Tatiana. Why don't you think that I might actually want to be here? What's the difference between Gatsby and Borsalino? Parasol and espadrilles? How about a cover coat and cummerbund, huh? No. Why would I need to? I have you. Your job is to know this. Mine? Mine is to direct you all. For example, ladies, I see that the outfits over here are obsolete. They are all absolutely hideous and lack any taste. All of those are in high demand and get sold out. But of out. course everyone wants them. It's because it's shown off the most and what people see, people ask for. And I'm here as a... As a layman. An invader. A man with so much money. And I want to see something so amazing. Uh, be careful with that. So that a person might say, oh, wow, that is so cool. They even have that. You get me? <laughs> Actually, we do get that you, sir, are so spoiled that you're only surprised by weirdness. Firstly, Tatiana, since when did I become Sir? Secondly, you're telling me that you don't understand me? I'm just... I'm just a person dreaming. And what I'm dreaming of is us breaking out of the box. You, with your red dress in Paris, must get me. Can I speak to you in private, please? This has gone way too far now. What do you mean? Look, didn't I ask you to just leave me alone? You relayed the message, that is right. Was I supposed to tell you personally? Well, all right. Please leave me alone now. <laughs> you, Miss Nazarov, are truly a ridiculous woman. I am only here with business interests. Excuse me, could you not eavesdrop, all right? <clears throat> I told you about the red dress in confidence, and you spilled it out just like that. Did I do that? That was rather harsh, I agree. Tell me, is that still your dream? Yes. Then start moving towards it! Because dreams do come true if you try to work towards them. Everything is possible, and I want to prove that to all of you. Your girl must have lots of fun with you. Mm-hmm, especially her parents, the ones who are preparing for the wedding. 
And you're dreaming of something else right now? Maybe I am. I see. Look, Vladimir, first you have to figure out your own dreams out before taking others on. Well, that's that. Hello there, Evgeny, please. Mr. Evgeny! This is Lydia's mother. Yes, how are you? No, thank you. I'm good. Do you know where Lydia and I saw your dearest Vladimir? Look, you should take it easy at first. Because we need evolution, not revolution. If that was said in October of 1917... In October... There was a class enemy. It was either us or them. You have no foes here. You only have good allies. <clears throat> you included? Yes. First and foremost. Look here. This is just right up your street. We get sent magazines. You know, some adverts and stuff, but we don't speak the languages. A month's worth of work here. What is this? Do you know Tatiana has been dreaming of Paris? It's an invitation. Trained Center Stolitsa. This is your division, ladies. This is very serious. What is it? This is a Cardin show. The British will be there in some sort of rain grand. <sighs> some sort of. For the very first time, clothing from metal and plastic will be displayed there. Well, what do they want from us? They don't have metal there. They need to ask the government for some help. This is not a joke. This is a real invitation to the event. This is a great opportunity for us to show the world our vision for the future of fashion. We have one month. What's wrong? Tell me. Just stop. And who would let us go? You really are a hilarious man, aren't you? Look, you shouldn't have taken that invitation. <clears throat> Does this drama queen also work with us? I'm not one. I'm just being realistic here. What we need to do, we need to send photos of our models first. Yes, that's right. Send these. The ones you called hideous. We need to take a risk here. Hmm? Is there anything at all we can show them? Hmm, Constantine has a point. According to the French designers, we have nothing to show. Our products are fast selling. And our audience isn't a fan of Gernrich's style clothing. Hmm, I mean, if we dig deep, we might... Find something unusual, but will that be good for Paris? No. Right, no ideas. What else? Actually, I've been saying this for ages. We need to create something unique. Do you know what I heard Miss Nina say that's popular in the U.S.? Vinyl. Katya, my dear, I spend a lot of time with rich people, you know. I've only ever seen vinyl on records. Well... Listen up. That's enough daydreaming for now, okay? Wait. Hold on, Constantine. Huh? But what if we take our <clears throat> recent drawings of flight attendants as a base and make a skirt out of vinyl? Wait, you mean that skirt in which you couldn't even take one step? Right. I couldn't take one step, but models can. Oh, yes. Those blind chickens. Natalia could do it. Ah. So we just need to get a material which no one's used, so a dress that is impossible to walk in, and rehire the model that we had already fired. That's awesome. That's such a great plan. A plan where everything sounds kind of impossible. So are we doing it? <laughs> huh? Yes! 
Yes? For you. Yes, my general. I always recognize your voice. Today I am not free. Yes. No. <laughs> Stuff to do. Goodbye. A date. In the midst of this, we're doing this. We need vinyl. For what? Well, you see, we have a... Uh... Well, let's talk about money, then. We'll definitely pay you. We have <laughs> cash. Show us the vinyl. Yeah. I'll show it to you and then boom. Police with witnesses. How convenient. No, no. I'll give you a time and a place. We need it to be tomorrow. The day after. And money up front. Where is that from? <laughs> from my savings. Saved up for a year of vacation. Let's go! Oh, you How are, are you? very naive. I earned that overnight because I didn't go drinking. Speaking of drinking, today I'm inviting you all to come and celebrate the beginning of a new era for all of us. Sounds good. I can't. I need to check up on Natalia. Well then, why don't the three of us go together to check up on Natalia? And after that, that's when we celebrate. I don't think she'll be happy to see all of us. I'd rather go alone. Goodbye now. Oh. That's okay. Didn't want to see her anyway. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Time to celebrate. Here's the patient. Soon to be ex-patient. You won't bother her? No, no, I will not. I'll be doubtful, but all right. I'll go put the kettle on. Um, can I also have some apricot jam? <laughs> Thanks a lot. What? So? Are you not a little ashamed of using him? Well, he likes looking after the sick. Actually, what he likes is looking after you. Anyway, we have good news for you. Vladimir is now working at the studio and he's second rank after Gladkov. He does what he wants. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm warning you. Please be careful. Don't worry about us. Listen to me first. So he told us earlier that he's involved in a fashion showcase, but on the international scale and want to take us to Paris. And with our national dresses, no less. <laughs> that sounds crazy. <sighs> and we need you to be there. Oh, Paris have wants like her. Anya. Wants like her? Well, go on then. I'll help Yostif with a jam, excuse me. Hey, I promise you that it will all be different this time. I always wore hand-me-downs at home. One time, I tore my shirt. Then my father beat me so bad, I couldn't go to school for a week. I thought that you came from a decent family. Well, maybe I've always wanted to be born like you. To walk into a room and know that all the girls want me. <laughs> Not the ones I want, though. You won't have issues with that because you're handsome, young, you dress very well. I don't know how to start a conversation. I mean, after that, I can talk to them about clothes and, uh, and skirts for hours. But how do you start? I see what the issue is, but can I give you some advice? Hey, you... don't mistake my inexperience for unintelligibility, because mine is the latter. Salut, madame. Bonjour. <laughs> can you translate that, please? <gasps> Are you not foreign? Sorry, I just thought you were French. Well, it's because my friend over here, who is a designer, figured that based on your look, you guys are... You guys are foreigners? Sorry, I'll be back in a second. What are you doing here right now? Well, I wanted to surprise you. I specifically told you that... Hold on there. Did you seriously think that I would choose to do my work or anything else over, over spending some quality time with you? 
Listen to me, Katya. All that you see here, it means absolutely nothing. My wife has come back. But of course, I do not want to lose what you and I have. So please, come to my summer house tomorrow. She never ever goes there. Take this too. It's for the cab. Go on, take it. Is that how you see this, huh? Oh my goodness. I knew it from the very start, but I just thought that... That for the first time in my life, I met a... A man like you, a real man. And I wanted you to be my first. Your first? I don't need your money. I only want to remember you forever. Uh, Katya. Uh. No, but I'm being serious here. Gagarin had a second spacesuit. He did. It had these large stars and I made it for him. But they <laughs> forgot that in space. There's no place to change. They forget that, <laughs> so he never wore it. Oh, well, you really are quite clumsy. You almost ruined a great shirt. Mm. Uh, what material is this? Could it be silk? No, no, it's, uh, satin. Which is more durable than silk and easier to work with. Do you know why they call it satin? Mm -mm. It's an interesting story. Yeah? Well, do you know that in the past, silk and satin... Mm. Why do you look so lonely? From China. Uh -huh. It was from a port city that was Champagne named... Champagne? No, it's not that. Uh -huh. I'm happy you joined me, but let's just relax. <laughs> I don't want to talk. It's a bit hard to pronounce. <laughs> Right. <laughs> my husband to be left me today. Mm. Didn't so explain a thing. Just mumbled something to me. And I told him that it didn't need to explain himself that I wasn't hurt one bit. That thing happens. Uh, I know it happens. But I lied to him. Why don't men understand that? I imagined my life with him, that I'd have his children and raise them. <laughs> it's my dream. Now it won't happen. Was it so hard for him to say something nice before leaving? Try to explain it to me. Must I demand an explanation? He's not interested. <laughs> no, I am interested. I'm serious. You are so silly. I'm so sorry. Oh, come in, my dear. Come in, come in, come. Hello? Uh, we are leaving. That's why we're still awake at this time. We're about to go somewhere. To my, uh, to my friend's sister. Uh, we're heading now. Come on. It's her birthday. Yes, mm -hmm. plus, she just gave birth recently, and we really want to see her baby. Anyway, come in, come in, dear. Uh, is Lydia home? Yes, yeah, she's home. Uh, except she... she no longer is waiting for you. Uh, although she already warned us that you might drop by our Tomorrow. house. She said, or today. Okay, we need to go now. Since they're waiting for us at the event we're going to. <laughs> Her birthday, yes. Right. Yes, it uh, is. The food's on the stove, just in case. Yes. Come in. I actually wanted to say it from here, it's... I was standing all day. So please don't deny me the opportunity to lie around uselessly while you break my heart.
Rhythm and blues? <laughs> you never liked that. Well, I never understood it before. Never actually listened to it. I was only focused on myself as well as my dreams. Are we talking about the music here? Or about us? You want to talk about us? Yeah. Lydia, I realized I was wrong. You want to come back? No, no. I wanted to tell you something first. Lydia, you are an amazing girl, and of course you will be just fine. You know, our separation has nothing to do with you. The truth is you picked a complete buffoon. The, the problem was that I couldn't figure out what I really wanted. Why waste time when our youth is passing so quickly? Lydia, what is this? We have nothing better to do. <sighs> Lydia, that's a cheap trick. I thought you were better than that. Anton, come over. What was that? What's confusing? Vladimir's gone. I am a free woman now. Sitting here in my birthday suit. <laughs> and nobody's home too. Mm, so you called the first pack up on your list then? Well, screw you. You're a jerk. Ah, oh, it's you. Tatiana. Why are you not wearing your scarf and hat? It's cold out there. You'll surely get sick. Miss Zena, is there a problem? Nothing. Oh, hold on. Um... My close friend is now talking to this other person. They drank some tea, talked a bit, nothing special. But now he stopped coming. Avoiding her or what? What do youngsters do in times like these? Just let her call him. Well, I will not. Uh, she will not force herself on him. <laughs> and it's really late. Why is that? White, force herself on him. Call him and ask, how are things with you? That's fine. Yeah? Or, you know, he could be sick. Or was hit by a car. I think that's a little extreme. Uh, mm, mm. Oh, I almost forgot. A certain Anatoly was calling you the entire evening. Mm -hmm. Mentioned it was urgent. <sighs> that person is really stubborn. Do you know that he made me look for you three times? Oh, him? I will definitely not call. Oh. When you're young, you throw good men away, and then when you're old, you drink tea alone. I will gladly join you for tea, actually. And your friend should call him. You two are quick. No, it wasn't quick at all. That's seven laps around the block, right?
<laughs> this is insane. Good morning to you. Hey there, my colleagues. So, I allowed myself to look around. That was my project for the spring. Then Miss Nina shelved it. What a real waste if she did. Mr. Vladimir, it's... You like it? You are unrecognizable. Uh, I feel like a fish out of water. I wore it to have a bigger effect. <laughs> that is actually where I and Tatiana are at an impasse. Yes, clothes must not only be stylish, but comfortable too. Well, anyway, you can see the men's collection is coming together. Although the women's... Here, take a look at this. Um, we are nowhere done. Uh, she's for it. I'm against it. Sorry, but I'm with her. <clears throat> Good morning. Morning. Well, good morning, my comrades. This is cute, very fresh. So what are we doing here? Can I help? I'll help you. We are discussing the collections for the upcoming Paris fashion show. Uh, we've already decided. Here. Well, if my opinion still matters here, I'm against it. That's not Paris. This is a saddle for a horse. It's hilarious. I mm -hmm. think you don't quite understand it. It's modernism. Really? That is not what he meant to say to uh, you. Yes. Well, I think he meant what he said. All right. Continue your plans. Modernists. I'll just pack my stuff. Natalia, w where are you going? Yosef, I'm probably making you uncomfortable. And Hanya is looking at me in an odd way. Stop that. Hanya simply adores you. And I, well, I... You? <laughs> you recovered very fast, I must say. It's a miracle. And it's most likely because you had good care. Are these your parents? Yes. They were better doctors than I am. Oh, they died? Well, I guess you could say that. Let's change the topic. Mm. Oh, wait a minute, please. Hold on. Here, please take this. I really want you to. Please don't go back to him. And don't go anywhere where he can find you, please. Just, just don't. And take this. This is silly. I'm not taking your money. Can you just tell me about your memories? <laughs> I would love to, but I'm at work right now. The key's in the entryway in case you decide to come back. This music is supposed to motivate us to work somehow? Listen to it. Think of Paris. It's not easy to get there, but it depends on you. But the drawings are almost ready? Drawings are an afterthought. Instead, tell me, who was the General Secretary of Hungary from 1931 to 1932? Okay, what did you drink last night? It's no joke. An invitation is not enough. Bureaucracy will kill you, you know? The commission and all that stuff? And they will ask you questions, which will make the one about Hungary seem normal. And I will not be able to help you. Yes, you are on your own there. So you better sort through it now. These are rules of the party? Yes, that means one wrong answer is already one dark spot in your background and you won't be let out. <laughs> so, tell me now. If you missed work, were fired, or if you have diseased or convicted relatives... Tatiana... Is there a reason they'd ax you?
Miss Nazarov, there's a man here to see you. See me? Tatiana, what's important, Paris or some man? I'm sorry. Forget it, go on. I'll be quick. Imriya Shalai. What? What was that? Imriya Shalai is the general secretary of Hungary, so you know. What is this all about? Well, you never called me back, and I happened to have free tickets to the circus. Best seats. <sighs> Had to go alone. Here, this is for you. Mm, thank you so much. It's just that I got home really late last night, and also our phone is a government line. A famous clown performed. Really? The show was funny. There's a new one today. You bought tickets for today, too? Well, almost, because I have a friend working the lights there. Oh. That's why. Uh, Tatiana, get back to work. There's a lot of buttons to be sewn. Is that your boss? Mm-hmm. He's very strict. Maybe his suit's too tight. <laughs> Anatoly, look. <clears throat> I need to go. We have a lot of work since. We'll have a showcase. You can say that we're literally being <laughs> stitched up right now. I'll go now, all right? Thank you so much for this. Maybe I can call you here at your workplace. Anatoly, you really shouldn't go, or even call at my workplace. You know how it is. I'll just call you. Is that fine? Thanks a lot for the flowers. I'll wait for your call. <laughs> now, please stop. Hey, you can't go in there, don't touch me. I'm really sorry. You told me about the ten-foot pole. It's like that, then? So why didn't you warn the police to arrest me upon entry? You can leave us now. Do I need to repeat myself? No. Incompetent? The last one was better. Stop pretending that you even care. So, why are you here? To say I'm sorry. For lying to me? I did think I was pregnant with your child. It's someone else's? No, your child. Yours. You... saved me from... such a monstrous... twisted love which almost killed me. I... was dependent on you and thought that... you would keep saving me. Sorry. I know I've been ungrateful. The way you speak now... Are you sure you're not suicidal? No, I'm not. I'm in no rush with that. It's just... I want to start a new life. Where I'm your only one. Everyone here at the studio misses you. Constantine the most. He complains every day that I fired the city's best model. The country's best. The country's best model. Hello there. It's Sina here. Well, why aren't you looking after the secret entrance? Oh yes, imagine that. It is broken again and wide open. 
All the nails are ripped out. Yes. Better come here and fix it. Yes, and hurry up. Messina, hello. How are you? Hmm, Natalia. You were already discharged. No, I was not discharged. I just left. Messina, may I use your phone, please? What if a war breaks out and our line is busy? Oh, I see. Here. Take it. Now I don't owe you a thing. That's right. So then, you're here to stay? Getting my stuff. Can I use the phone now? But this is a private call. The only kind you ever have. Hello, Gleb. It's me. I've gone back to the studio. Well, I might go to Paris. Asana... happens to be the right position. Pranayama controls your breathing. Dahyana is object contemplation. And Samadhi is total concentration. When you interrupt my peace, my Samadhi stops working. It's fine, Nina. We need to train hard and we need to practice. I think that you spent way too much time holed up in that fashion cave of yours. You aren't the only one who thinks that. Who else? The studio thinks that? Are they all insane? You are the lifeblood of that place. That's what I thought too, but a new boss arrived, young and vibrant. And Nina suddenly becomes obsolete and gets in their way. The first step of cleansing is repressing the anger inside ourselves. But I'm not even angry. Isn't that obvious? Okay. And that person! Has he made huge strides in the studio already? Yes, he did. He got everyone excited. He's dead set on creating some space themed collection and go to Paris with it. <laughs> Ruining his karma. There, Zena. No enemy shall pass. You know, Mr. Piotr, you might be brave at your enemies. But what about your friends? I don't think I follow you. You used to come here often, but not anymore. Haven't heard or seen you around. Did I say or do something wrong? Am I no longer interesting to you? Zena, are you crazy? It isn't about that. Then what? Well, the reason I disappeared is because I, I have a buddy at the orchestra, at uh, my old job, that's right. He has this thing. I asked him for it. I patched it up. Here and there. I fixed it. Ready? What is it? Tina, do you like it? Piotr.
Do you want to use the phone? Go on. Mr. Putir and I will go and listen some more. The General Secretary is listening to what you have to say. Hello. A communist hello? Yes, you are right. I've been studying. Okay. What about Amendment 26? Uh, what is that? A member and all respective candidates for the party must do what with their actions? Uh, they must justify the party's confidence in entrusting them the role. And in the case the member lost their honor and dignity? Then that means he can't remain in the party leadership. Good job, Tatiana. You just might have a chance in Paris and with the party. Vladimir, thank you very much. I don't have an idea what will happen yet, but... I was thinking that a mere month ago, I never imagined that I would be in this very position. That I'll go to Paris. Well, I might not go, but... I can't believe that I have a chance to go. It's all I've been thinking about. I think a lot, too. Not about Paris, to be honest. But about your smile. Now you're shy and quiet? Listen, my dear Tatiana, I am kind of bearing my heart and soul to you, and you suddenly grow silent? Hello? Hello? So who are you talking to, at this time? I'm guessing it's not Lydia. Let me tell you, that is none of your business. I was informed about you in that studio. No, go ahead and play. And then I heard about Paris. Now that is just a step too far. Mr. Evgeny, this is my life, and I'm certainly not playing any games. Look, Vladimir, I can ruin all your dreams so very easily. And not just your dreams, but the life of your dear Tatiana, born in Kovrov. So is that enough information to cool? Your flaming temper? <laughs> 